We were left in a hostile environment. But we survived. We are long forgotten. But we continue our fight. For only one can remain. Steel Hunter is back. The concept is simple. This is a tank battle royale. 20 solo tanks or 10 platoons of two players take part in it. Everyone is in for themselves. Pick up loot to get consumables, abilities unique to each vehicle and shells. Use radio detection to search for opponents, destroy them and collect spoils of war. Crates marked with smoke will bring invaluable experience. You'll need it to upgrade your vehicles right in battle. There you'll have freedom of choice. The same starting tank can be turned into several completely different vehicles. You can view the upgrade tree both in battle and in the garage. And of course, the main rule of Steel Hunter, never stay still. The battlefield becomes smaller by the minute. In the red zone, you'll only survive for mere seconds. You also shouldn't linger in the yellow zone, as it'll soon become red. Most importantly, there's a lot of new content in this season. For example, the map. In addition to the already familiar Dreamland and Arzagir 4.04, Fear Null Fear was added. On this map, you'll be conquering the frozen, uninviting tundra. It's said that the winds here howl with the voices of those who have fallen prey, and the voices of the winners echo in thunder. Study these dangerous lands, use this knowledge in battle, and it'll be your voice that rumbles across them. Even more important to survival can be your knowledge of the vehicles. The Varag, Raven, Arlequin, Valkyrie, and Harbinger are ready to show what they're capable of again. But they're not the only ones. Three newcomers have joined their ranks, each with its own set of abilities. The Bailan Scout. It should find out everything about the deadly zone at any cost and use it to its advantage. If anybody gets in its way, the Bailan loads an acid shell. It burns through the armor well and makes its opponent lose its durability until they use a repair kit or the acid effect wears off. In critical moments, the Bailan can deploy a battlefield robot. It chases the nearest opponent, trying to reach the sides and rear and make short work out of them. Small, quick, dangerous. The Huragan is a tireless pursuer, who follows the same order over and over again to search and destroy to catch up with the target. The Huragan uses electric discharge. It creates an area where the opponents receive damage and slow down. After leaving the circle, the mobility is restored within a few seconds or immediately with the help of the repair kit. The target's attempts to save itself only encourage the Huragan its surging fervor ability worsens the tank's aiming and stabilization for some time, but increases damage upon each penetration up to five times. The damage increase resets after a miss or non-penetration. The Beowulf heavy tank. Its commander was surviving and hunting in the most dangerous conditions. Now it's here, and it intends to stay here last. Beowulf's ring of fire sets the ground around the tank ablaze. The enemy better roll out of the fire if they don't want to lose speed and constantly receive damage. If the opponent dares to shoot back, adaptive armor will help. It restores a few hit points right away and accumulates all damage received from the enemy for the ability duration time. In the end, the Beowulf converts this damage into hit points for itself and a nearby platoon member. Additionally, there are also other changes. 
The green crate will now restore hit points, provide experience, ammo, and, within a certain probability, a recovery charge. The yellow crate repairs all modules, contains less experience for vehicle upgrades, and either a repair kit or one of the abilities. The blue crate contains the most experience, restores durability, repairs modules, and provides shells and one charge for each ability. But picking it up takes longer than for other crates, seven seconds. Spoils of war contain half of the destroyed vehicle's resources. They also restore all damaged modules and part of the durability. It now takes only two seconds to pick them up, but they are now also displayed on the minima. You'll be able to find your new target quicker. Or is it you who will be easier to find? The window upon pressing tab now shows vehicle types, and zone closing speed now depends on the number of survivors on the map. The fewer players, the faster the zone will close. A new currency appears. Steel Seals. They can be earned only in the Steel Hunter battles. They're required to rent tanks. By default, three vehicles out of eight are available to you. The Varag, the Raven, and the Arlequin. You can rent others for free for a day, but only once. You'll need to pay for each following rent. Platoons also change their format. Now there are only two player platoons so it'll be easier to gather together with a friend to go for a hunt, and the battle search will be quicker. Rules of earning resources changed. Now everything works just as in random battles. The amount of credits, combat experience, and steel seals earned depends mainly on your final place. The other factors are damage caused, enemy vehicles destroyed, and other active actions. This is especially noticeable if you play with a premium account, personal and clan reserves, and use the platoon bonus. All these increase the earnings of Steel Hunters. Additionally, you'll be able to earn Battle Pass points and receive bonds for completing missions. All combat experience accumulated on the vehicles from the mode can be converted into free experience. Free experience itself is not earned in the mode. There are only two choices for you in Steel Hunter. Become the winner or another prey. If you're sure you won't be the latter, look around. After all, only one can remain.